Hello everyone, thank you so much for clicking on my channel. As always, I would like to thank my new, recent, and returning subscribers. Thank you so much for your support and hopefully you're gaining insight and knowledge to detach from unhealthy relationships. This video topic relates to the narcissist triangulation. Triangulation can occur in any relationship but it is very common in a relationship with a narcissist. If this is your first time clicking on this channel, please don't forget to click the like and subscribe button below so that you don't miss out on hearing more interesting content. Okay, here we go. Triangulation is common when you're dealing with a narcissist because they will include a third party that is pulled into a circumstance that is meant to be communicated between you and the narcissist. The narcissist may use you against any other person they can get to engage in their victim playing. Triangulation is meant to drive a wedge in common relationships. In return, this feeds the narcissist's desire for what is called narcissistic supply. It is what keeps them going. They thrive on control, chaos, and confusion. And when they can't control you, they will try to control how others perceive you. It is all about divide and conquer as a way to hurt their victims. The narcissist manipulates their pawns, fly monkeys, or recruiters to do their dirty work for them. The recruiters are unaware that they're being persuaded by the narcissist manipulation and so they align themselves against the one the narcissist is trying to control. Narcissists often use triangulation in their most important relationships, which can be at home, at work, with friends, or within a family. They essentially introduce a third or a fourth or a fifth or sixth party to shift the dynamic by having an allegiance against you. Sometimes their efforts to triangulate are apparent to everyone and other times their actions can be more subtle which can make it more dangerous. Victims have been attacked verbally, physically, some have lost their jobs, children, reputation, and opportunities to move forward in life. Part of the narcissist's validation from when they launch smear campaigns against you is also used as a tool to gaslight you, which shuts down your defenses. The purpose of triangulation is to manipulate you and the third party view of you, though their primary goal is to cause chaos, tyranny, and deliberately cause you emotional pain and confusion. They create this triangle around the one that they desire to control and hurt. They perpetuate constant torment for their victims. They triangulate due to deflecting some of the tension they can't handle by creating another conflict to take the spotlight off of the original issue and reinforcing their sense of power and control. Now, let's dive into the recruiters. The recruiters are the other people who abuse you on behalf of the narcissist. This is why some of their recruiters are just as bad as the narcissist themselves. Triangulation is basically another one of their forms to psychologically abuse their victims. The best thing you can do is remove yourself from the narcissist and have no contact with them and their recruiters. It is a nasty, messy situation to be in when you're the victim because not only do you have to deal with the narcissist, but you also have their host of little demons attacking you or having surveillance on you. The second best thing that you can do is not react and don't respond and show no emotional response because ultimately they're trying to get a reaction out of you. 
regardless of their hideous behavior and betrayals. The narcissist will still want to reduce you into a corner of misery as they throw rocks and hide their hands. It is best for you to distance yourself from these troubled souls to protect your emotional and mental health. I hope that this video was helpful and provided the insight that you were looking for.